Importing video into Flash is, is quite simple. As you would expect, you'd go to File and Import and Import Video. Then obviously you need to find your video clip. You should already have saved it to computer or you may have it on a camcorder um, and select it there. I'm going to select one of the examples that comes with Microsoft Windows anyway, a free example. Simply find your example and open it and it puts in there check that it's what you want it is um, you're not at this stage got a flash server it assumes that you have to start with that you've uploaded all your videos to the flash server generally speaking you won't have so you'll go for embed uh, embedded video there which will place an instance of it on the stage as it shows you makes your file size a bit bigger but at least it puts it exactly in your program these are just checking that you've got the right settings that it will put an instance on the stage and that it will expand the timeline accordingly so say yes and it tells you there that's what it will do simply press finish or next and it puts the video onto there for you now you can play it by test movie you can move it around as you would any other asset on the stage you can see that it's in the timeline there and it's put the right number of frames in moving the playhead look shows you roughly what's on the picture obviously by control and test movie you could see the whole video exports it as an SWF file and plays the video for you stop that there at this time as I said you can do with that what you could with any other attribute um, on the stage so you can transform it you can move it around you could skew it if you wanted to make it weird it would still play as a video and essentially that's all there is to it the, do be careful on file sizes so they can be large some people like to do what we call um, a sort of roller image put in another layer and then using the pen tool you could draw over the top say the shape of the boy on one one frame and frame by frame you could keep redrawing that and then it would you could get rid of the movie behind and it would leave you a little animation obviously we haven't got time to do that here